Mikumythologies is a series of artworks which includes mythological stories, biotechnological installations entitled Raptures and Patterning, an on and offline performative workshop, Storytelling Circle, and a video essay called Infrastructure. In my work, I researched and experimented with the idea of how multi-species symbiotic superconnective organisms such as fungi can actually teach us about connectivity, networks, inclusivity, and caring practices across species. Um, I worked in art and science field and the past two years before the pandemic, I have been part of the artist in residency programs at two institutions, um, at Matthias Rilik Laboratory at Institute for Biology in Berlin and Toby Kier's Laboratory at Free University in Amsterdam. While I was there, I was exploring and experimenting with fungal networks, and I noticed that scientific facts get their social dimensions and understanding through various stories and also metaphors as a wood wide web, as some of you have maybe heard of. And these stories and metaphors usually serve a particular social and political and also economical agendas. They are never really neutral. Because of that, I decided to write a mythology for and as much as possible with fungi. Uh, the preparations for the exhibition at Prague Gallery are going pretty well because the two most uh, complicated artworks, the biotechnological installations, rupture and patterning, have actually been already exhibited three times in the past year in Slovenia, uh, in Croatia, and in the Netherlands. So at the moment, uh, I'm mostly finalizing a video um, essay called Infrastructure, together with the fellow Michael Phil and artist Caitlin Bryson. Um, Mycomythologies in the form of biotechnological installations, unfortunately, will not be presented at Pragoka Gallery. Um, the series will be presented as a large scale video documentation due to exhibitions I need to attend at Center for Contemporary Culture in Barcelona and Nova Tritetko Gallery in Moscow. Because challenge at the moment is translating three dimensional immersive installations into two dimensional space. While trying to preserve ambiental qualities of installations, which are an important part of the artistic language that mycometallurgists use. Uh, fortunately, mycometallurgists will be realized in Prague in July. And at the time, I imagine it as this vast biotechnological landscape of networks of electric circuits, whispering voices. <laughs> Contaminated petri dishes, AI controlled microscopes, and of course, mycelial threads and murmurings of nutrient flows in those mycelial threads and pixel bleeding mycomythological screens, biomes of blood, sweat and tears, uh, nurtured mushrooms, and all these connected in some sort of entanglement where uh, it will be possible to actually uh, think about what kind of networks we are part of. So please come to uh, Pragoka Gallery to see the exhibition of our class and take time and immerse yourself in the thought processes that created them. Uh, I'm sure you will have an exciting and meaningful experience. And if by any chance uh, you're in Prague in summer, I invite you to the immersive biotechnological landscape of mycomythologies, which will hopefully bring you a bit closer to this alien world of fungi 
uh, that actually support and sustain um, a very big part of our ecosystem. 